Okay, for this particular lesson, we are going to talk about the symbols. Okay, the symbols that we can use when we are comparing values of a variable. Uh, you need to understand that when you do programming, when you do coding, it is not all about uh, getting the user's input and then doing a formula and then displaying the result. There is a time where you need to compare the variables in order for you to make the next decision. Okay, you, make, you have to make a decision for the next step. So, making decision in coding is quite important. So, here you will have a few symbols that is used to compare values in JavaScript. These are called comparison operators. So basically, what it will give you is a true or false answer, meaning a yes or no answer. Whether this particular uh, expression gives you a true answer or this particular expression gives you a false answer. Okay. So, in uh, overall, there's around six different types of comparison of operators. So, the first one is equal. If you want to check whether these two variables are equal to each other, uh, the values of the variable, okay, the values of the variable are equal to each other, then you have to use this particular symbol equals equals two times all right now if let's say you want to check whether this particular variable is it not equals to another variable it's the other way around all right so if you want to check for that then you will use this symbol it's an exclamation mark plus an equal symbol all right to check whether if it is not equal. The third symbol is more than symbol. Okay, this one is to check whether the first variable is greater than the second variable, the value of the variable. The fourth particular, the fourth symbol will be lesser than symbol. So this one is to check whether the first variable value is smaller, is lesser than the second variable's value. Then, number five is more than or equals. This one is to check whether the first variable's value is more than, it can be more than, and the minimum is equals to. Okay, it can be more than, at the same time, the minimum will be equals to. That's why it's, it's called as more than or equals to. The second variable's number, value. And the last symbol will be less than or equals to. Meaning, I'm checking whether is the first variable's number, value, is lesser than or is it equals to the second variable's value. Alright, so here I have some examples that I just want to further, to make sure that you further understand how the symbols are being used. Okay, so now let's say the first variable is 5 and the second variable is 5 as well. So I want to compare i want to check whether is the first variable same as the second variable so i use the equal equal symbol so now five is it equals to five yes it is right because it is the same so the answer will be true remember the answer will come out as true or false okay now let's go to the second one now i'm checking whether 
whether the first variable is not equals to the second variable. So what I do, here I'm comparing 7 and 10. So I'm asking, is 7 not equals to 10? So the answer will be, yes, 7 is not equals to 10. So the answer will be true. That is how you check. Okay, let's go to the third one. Okay, this looks a bit weird. Eh? I'm checking whether the first number is larger than the second number. So I'm checking for 34. Is 34 larger than 34? That is not right. Correct? Because 34 is equals to 34. So this particular statement will give me a false. Okay? So false. Okay. Fourth. Now I'm checking whether the first number is it smaller than the second number. Is 45 smaller than 79? Yes, of course. Okay, 45 is smaller than 79. So the answer will be true. Alright, let's go to the fifth one. Okay, it's checking whether is 18 lesser or equals to 18. Think again, eh? is 18 lesser or equals to 18? If you close this, if you close this, okay, you remove this, this is not true. This is false. But remember, you have two symbols. Alright? So now equal is present as well. So 18 equal to 18. True. Alright? So basically, 18 is lesser or equals to 18. The answer will be true. Because it's a combination. It can be lesser or it can be equals to. The last one. The last one will be 21. Is it more than or equals to 16? Okay. So now 21. Is it more than or equals to 16? Now, let's look at the first symbol. Is 21 more than 16? Yes. Look at the second symbol. Is it equals to 16? No. But because this is a combination, it's either this or this. So, it will give me a true answer. Because 21 is larger. Okay, is larger than 16. Alright? So basically, this is how the comparison operators work in JavaScript.